Good morning. I am finally doing our mudroom. One, because just other stuff happened. And two, school goes back on Monday and I want to have this ready. Not necessarily painted, but ready so the kids know shoes, bags, library bags. When you come home, that's where you unload and that's where you load. I just feel like it's just going to organize the home a little bit more. So let me run you through. My camera's flashing. Hang on a sec. All right, it's very windy, but I've got the door open to get really nice breeze. So let me just talk you through. I'm going to tilt you down, and I'm going to explain a couple of things to you. This is the space I'm working with. Up here, I'm going to have like a shelf go across that you can put like baskets in and hooks underneath. But I want to try and focus on this today. I'm going to explain everything, and I think just let the camera roll. I work better that way. I picked up these drawers. I tried to get some off of Marketplace and it just didn't happen. Couldn't find them secondhand, so I had to purchase some brand new. These are the Nordly drawers, but I purchased them off of Ikea with no top on them, which was fantastic because I saved an extra $100. So they were $150 each with no top on them. So I have four drawers. There's one, two, and then three, four. And then I went to Bunnings, I'm just going to adjust myself up again guys, I went to Bunnings and I actually bought some timber, which, well pine, just some pine, whoops, I need to cut down to size, I've got two of them, and they're going to become the tabletop and everything is going to get painted in the green. But what I have to do before I put these in, we haven't got flooring down yet, a couple of things, we haven't finished a lot of stuff and um, the budget for flooring is probably getting like really stretched and we wanted to do some other things out the front. Um, so I need to get these lifted off the ground so when we do floor I can actually open the drawers because let me show you. I love these drawers but they're literally on the ground. So if I get uh, flooring put in, my flooring's going to come up to like here and I can't open the drawers. So I've cut down some timber to fit. I'm going to put that down, sit these on top, cut the timber bench tops to go on top. This is all of our modem and security system stuff that just sits in a little alcove. So the drawers actually literally finish here. I do have to move that PowerPoint slightly that way, which we will do. Um, so all of our, you know, all that messy drawer, you don't know where to put things. I'm hiding mine in here. So I purposely had my builder not sheet the whole way down. So all of this stuff can literally just, oh my gosh, just all sit in here out the way contained. Will I tidy it up one day? Maybe, but you, you know how this works with like modems and you know, all that kind of stuff. So that can sit there. And the bench top is actually going to have one fixed panel and one panel we can take off. So if we need to access down here, we can. Down the track, I might put like a hole in the bench top so we can actually access the PowerPoint and maybe have like a little docking station to charge things. I don't know. So I'm going to let the camera roll. We're going to get the drawers put in down here. I'm going to cut my timber. So these are the two that will make my bench top. And this one here will actually make my shelf across the top and these are the brackets I bought. I wanted to do a floating shelf but it was just going to get too technical and too expensive but I thought if I had, how do they go, those I could just paint them the same colour, the green and it should just blend in because it's all timber so it has that kind of look so oh we're getting there. Wish me luck, I, I need to get this done.
it wasn't working for a number of reasons. I couldn't screw it into the wall because this was in the way. So what I've decided to do is just cut like, like chocks and then it's going to sit on the floor because this part has to be able to be removed. So let's see. I've given this a trim, a cut down. Let's see if it's going to fit. I might need to get like a little trim. This one fits really snug, which is good, but I don't want this one to fit really snug because I want to be able to take it off so we can get it back. I think I'm going to have to take some off there, which is fine. Yeah, that's going to have to come off. So I'm not going to like saw anymore. I'm going to like sand it down, I think. Oh, I got it. <laughs> piece of timber that was flat and level like there's no gap between the timber and the level <coughs> always two <coughs> so I know the timbers flat and then I just use that to get my level for the two brackets there and I'll do the same going across but the third one <laughs> painting the timber a nice dark stain I got the little baskets from Kmart I put a cushion there just for looks but the kids actually like sitting on it sometimes and having a little play because it's a very deep bench um, some things I'm gonna change is this curtains gonna come down I'm gonna get like a tinted um, like frosting put on that window there because I just don't like the look of the curtain there it was a cheap temporary curtain 
and I'm definitely going to get rid of it. Um, but the drawers are functioning really well. No, we don't have flooring down yet. We're waiting probably till around Christmas time to get flooring in. This has been up for a couple of weeks now and one thing I really want to do is get just like a little basket in the corner here like a really soft basket we can put like sunnies and stuff into i don't put my handbag here or any valuables here it's literally hats i've got gum boots in one raincoats in one and all the dog leads and poo bags and her little jumpers and another one and we purely hang our hats up here uh, and all of our shoes go down in the bottom so one little basket there just like yeah your sunnies or you know like a junk drawer when you first sort of walk in but look I'm really happy with how it's turned out and now I can just continue on with getting the rest of the house up to speed um, I'm gonna share with you the laundry in my next video and then I might start working well this isn't a really big one here this one's here's gonna be a bit of an, an art piece I'm working on um, so maybe I'll share with you you would have seen the kids little mini makeover for the rumpus room which is just it's it's fantastic the kids love it the only thing i need to do is get more beans for those bean bags um but that is it that is the the hallway entry mud room whatever you want to call it uh it's pretty big in america to have like a mud room but ours is kind of like a come in sort of a station and get your feet off there um this area will kind of get finished off by having a beautiful art piece i'm putting up there so stay tuned for that one but i hope you enjoyed the video it has decided to bucket down with rain um, so I'm enjoying that because I have to go water the garden, um, but not good for the washing that's about to finish. That's probably going to have to do the clothes for or in the dryer. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I am feeling extremely accomplished with what I have done. It's amazing what you can do by yourself when you research and just give it a go. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed and we'll talk soon. Bye. Yeah. But not with you. No. I'll sit by the